Hi. So I want to talk to you today about the three acts of a CEO's life. And mostly I want to talk about the third act of a CEO's life, which is legacy. But let's talk about each of these three acts. So the first one is all about climbing the career ladder, right? You're climbing this ladder, gaining the experience, dealing with the challenges, building up that element of what it is for you to be a leader. What does it mean for you to be a leader? You're building up all those skills across the first maybe 10, 15, 20 years of your life to get to that point where you are the leader, where you are the CEO. The second act then is when you are that CEO, you're at the top and you can lean into the power of you being there. What does it feel like to have this incredible responsibility to be running this impressive business, to be doing these things right there and then? How can you relax and enjoy being in that position at the top of the tree? How can that feel effortless so you wake up every morning feel feeling excited and energised. And the third act then is all about legacy. So in climbing that tree and being the CEO, you have a huge amount of responsibility. And you definitely have this responsibility is there to your shareholders in terms of earning a dividend, but that responsibility is also there to your customers, to the wider society, to your employees, to your employees' families. You have a wide sphere of influence here. And in that third act, that's really about providing a legacy for that, in that sphere of influence that you have right now. Because most CEOs, when they're at the top, they are thinking about the day-to-day -day challenges that they're in, right? They maybe are thinking a bit further ahead towards retirement or something like that, but they're not really ever thinking about their legacy. And legacy is not just about, you know, a library, a library named after you at your university. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's fantastic. But it's not really a longer lasting legacy. Really what legacy becomes is making a grand change in the world taking that responsibility with these tens of thousands or millions of customers, tens of thousands of employees and families, you've got a huge responsibility there. And what was interesting about the leaders of old is they took this responsibility seriously. They would provide housing and care for their employees. They would build schools for their kids of their employees. They'd really go the extra time to really understand what it meant to be a leader and to create a legacy beyond the years that they're on this planet. And that's something that I think that's got, gotten quite lost most recently with CEOs, that, that responsibility and that power that they have often is shown through simply money. And it doesn't have to be like. So a lot of the work that I do with the enterprise CEOs that I work with is looking at that longer legacy. How do you want to be remembered after you retire? How do you want to be remembered in 50 years time? What stamp, what dent do you want to make in the universe based on your time on this planet with this huge amount of responsibility and power that you bring? How do you want that to be everlasting for you? And I know that's a big question, but it's a really important question and something all of us face. I have a video which I'll, I'll share here, which, is, which talks about really the only two people you need to impress in your life. The two people you need to impress in your life are the eight-year-old you and the 80-year-old you. The eight-year-old you, you know, that is about looking at how successful you are now. Isn't it cool doing what you're doing? Maybe the eight-year-old you is impressed. The 80-year-old you is looking back and going, well, what did I create and what did I build in this world? And the 80-year-old you is much, much, much harder to impress. And that's really where legacy starts. So you're interested, if you're interested in taking this deeper with me and you want to explore your legacy, I've got a few options here for you. The first thing is I work with six CEOs every year. I do have an upcoming slot to work with a CEO right now. There's some questions down there that I would love you to answer to see if we're a mutual fit and legacy is something you want to work on. But I equally, I offer a retreat where you can come down and join and spend three days walking with me down here um, in this beautiful part of the world where I live in, in Dorset. And we can start to explore this legacy element of your life. We can spend some time really focusing on you and what you want to build in this world. So let me know if you'd be interested in coming down and spending three days with me to build your legacy. Thanks for your time. And I'm looking forward to speaking to you. Bye now.